Example four. 2x squared plus 5x minus uh, 12 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, something that I probably could have avoided last time is since negative 3 and 4 were really our points, we could have just done this whole thing at once instead of having the 0 in there. So let me start this problem with you, okay? And then you'll finish it. I'm going to show you like a faster way. I think I did a little too much work on the last one. Okay, do you remember how to do an Xbox? Let's do it. Why don't we do the thing where I do it up here silently and you do it at your table and see if you got it right? Okay, how are we doing so far? Are you at the same point I am? Mm -hmm. All right, now, this time we're going to do it faster um, because I think I was a little too... <coughs> shouldn't have done that last time. Um, we're only going to do three sections this time. We're going to go negative 4 to infinity. We're going to make this all one color here. Negative 4 to 1.5 and then 1.5 to infinity. So when you're testing it with your partner, you're going to test negative infinity to negative 4. You're going to test negative 4 to 1.5, and you're going to test uh, 1.5 to infinity. So you're going to pick a test number in those. You're going to plug them in, see if they work. Remember, remember how last time we were looking for something less than 0? <coughs> but do you guys see how this time it says greater than or equal to 0? So the ones that are yes will be greater than 0 this time. Okay? All right, with your partner now, go ahead. <coughs> I'm 
Remember, if both of you are confused, call me over. Up here is greater than or equal to zero. Is that like an element the other Yes. So if it's true, then the left side will be greater than or equal to zero. So we want for a guess it would be greater than. Yes. Okay. <coughs> it's not always less than, it's not always greater than, it's just whatever makes the original equation true. So the correct answer to this problem is two different parts. It's negative infinity to negative 4 and 1.5 to infinity. Those are the two answers that you should have gotten that are correct. Raise your hand if you'd like to come up here and show us what you did. The middle, the opposite ones. The, then here, the yellow and the pink are the correct ones. Hands up if you want to come up here. One, two, three, four, five. Six or no? It's four. Yes. 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 Okay. One of you needs to go by the computer so you can talk. I have a question, but yes. Is this the answer? And that is or you did it right. And then that needs to go there and there and that and there. Okay. Remember or is orders. Okay. So wait, is I were you right? I'm right. And it should be or. It should be and or. I had it wrong, but this is what I mean. Oh, okay. okay. That's right. Is oh, it this one? Maybe I yeah, but it's all right. Okay, so. I didn't say that, but I wasn't implying that that was the correct answer. I meant, like, it's this, this was an answer, and this is an answer as well, but not. I should circle how I say that, you're right. All right, so we picked negative 5 for the first one. So it's 2 times 25 plus or, or plus negative 25 minus 12. And then if you get it all, it's 13. So it will be yes. Because that's greater, greater than, than zero. zero. Then the next one, we picked 1. So if you plug it all in, 2 Maybe times 1 plus 5 minus 12. Of course you did, Kyle. It's um, way easier. Oh, shit. <laughs> And that one is, uh, I think, what was the answer for that one? Negative 15. Yeah, negative 15, so that's going to be a no. Shay, be polite. 
And then we plugged in 2 for the second one. Smart. 2 times 4 plus 10 minus 12. The answer is going to probably be like 6 or something. And that's going to be yes. Yeah, you don't have to. Like